Good morning, Michael Feller here on Deals TV for Business Spectator. It's Monday the 5th of October and it really is Oktoberfest season with a lot of beer deals going around. Of course, last week we saw Mexico's largest beer maker in alleged talks with either Saab Miller of the United States and South Africa or Heineken of the Netherlands. And now it seems uh, there's rumours circling that Foster's in, is in the sights of either um, Asahi of Japan, uh, Saab Miller again, or indeed uh, Inbev Einhauser Busch, the, uh, the uh, world's biggest beer conglomerate, which is in the process of selling non-core assets, the most recent being its theme parks division, which, was, uh, which is uh, believed to be sold to Blackstone, the private equity firm. Blackstone's bought SeaWorld and Busch Gardens, which of course is the, um, is the origin of the Simpsons Duff Gardens episode that you may, some of you may recall. Um, Blackstone also happened to own uh, Legoland and Madame Tussauds, I learnt. So that's interesting. Of course, InBev has also in the past sold um, its South Korean breweries business to uh, KKR, another private equity firm, for $1.8 billion. The theme parks, by the way, are estimated to be worth uh, $3 billion US dollars. So anyway, um, it seems though that uh, those asset sales are more likely to be about paying down debt rather than, uh, rather than acquiring Fosters, although um, Asahi and Saab Miller are thought to be um, more likely bidders of Australia's last remaining big independent brewery. Uh, moving on now to uh, other deals where uh, um, the Financial Review has um, talked about uh, the London Stock Exchange's uh, possible acquisition for turquoise. Um, there's also uh, possibilities that that could lead to similar deals in Australia. Um, turquoise is one of those um, one of those uh, alternative um, type share market arrangements for institutional investors. Um, and there's been a lot of talk about what the ASX could do with competitors like Chex and so forth here in Australia. Uh, moving on now to banking deals where uh, Standard Charters chartered um, the uh, emerging markets focused British Bank is, um, is apparently uh, pulling out of talks with Royal Bank of Scotland to buy their Asian um, assets. Uh, Scotiabank, meanwhile, the Canadian lender, is, uh, has told Reuters that it's interested in acquisitions in Southeast Asia. Um, both Standard and Chartered and uh, Scotiabank have been uh, keen competitors with ANZ Banking Group for assets in Southeast Asia, so could uh, give Mike Smith some front for its money, regardless of where that RBS deal goes. Um, also in the banking world, Aviva um, is apparently floating its Delta Lloyd uh, division. Delta Lloyd is a Dutch insurance uh, company, and it's thought that uh, if Aviva offloads Delta Lloyd, they could be in the business for legal in general, another, another uh, British bank insurance group. Uh, National Australia Bank, which bought Aviva's Australian division, is also said to be interested in legal in general, though NAB has, of course, said nothing on those rumours. Um, on to resources now, where um, I'd be interested to know from you if you know of the identity of the company that has cornered 90% of tin on the London Metals Exchange. That's an extraordinary amount of tin, and uh, nobody really knows who they are. They're said to be a hedge fund, but uh, again, it's a complete mystery. On to other mysteries now, where uh, Cadbury has been described as an absolute horror story by uh, one of the Cadbury family's descendants. Uh, Felicity Luden has spoken to the Sunday Telegraph newspaper in Britain, um, describing the whole thing as a mess. Uh, Steward International Enhance Index Fund has meanwhile sued Cadbury's for uh, rebuffing the, the 16.3 billion US dollar bid from Kraft, the uh, plastic cheese company, in the, uh, in the words of the, uh, the British Cadbury descendant. Um, Stewart International, interestingly enough, is a, is a biblical principles uh, index fund um, run by uh, several Christian churches in America, and uh, they're, suing, they're suing Cadbury not only about rebuffing the, uh, the bid, but on uh, overcompensation of executives, it's said. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out, especially considering uh, Alan Kohler's uh, call to, uh, to sue uh, Telstra executives and, uh, and all the other uh, general discussion about whether people are getting paid too much for uh, really driving down share prices and not much else. Anyway, that's all we've got time for. I'll see you tomorrow.